Good morning, kids. Myself, Swati Malik, your English teacher. A very warm welcome to all the students of class second to today's English grammar class. Today, we are going to study chapter number 25, Story Writing. In this video, we will learn the basics of story writing. First, we will understand what is a story writing. Then, we will look into the steps to write a story writing. And finally, we will understand it with an example and do the exercises. So, without further ado, let's get started. What is a story? A story is a connected series of events. So, children, a story is a narration of a set of events used to convey any moral message. We use ver various events to convey any message. We can make any story. It can be either uh, based on true event or an imaginative one. Importance of story writing. It trains us to be imaginative and easily express our thought. So children, it improves our imagination skills. Hum sochte hain aur fir story banate hain. And, it, and we can easily express our thoughts. Whatever we have in mind, we can express through this story writing. Next importance is, story sticks to our mind easily. So we become more focused when any story is said. And also children, it is a way through which we can easily remember the stories and model of those stories. So children, let's get started and read the stories that is given in your book. The Shepherd Boy Once upon a time, there was a shepherd boy. He lived in small village. There was a boy who was living in a small village. He used to take out his sheep for grazing in the nearby forest every day. One day he thought of a mischievous trick. So children, one day he thought of doing one mischievous trick with others. He climbed up a tree and cried in a loud voice, Help, help, a wolf is coming to kill me. So he started shouting that a wolf has came near him to kill him. Save my life. Simple villagers ran to save his life from the attack of wild animals. They were surprised when they found no wolf there. So kids, that shepherd boy lied to them and shouted for help. The simple villagers came to help him but they found no wolf. The boy laughed at them. He told them, that he had cried only for the purpose of fun. The villagers went back to their homes that day. So they felt very bad as the boy said that he was simply making fun. On the next day, he repeated the same act. The villagers once again ran to help him. They found no wolf there. One day, a wolf really came there. The boy cried loudly for help. No villagers come to save him, believing that he might be lying again. On with them. So children, what we have learned from this story? The moral of the story is, once a liar is always a liar. Aap ek baar jhoot bolte hain, to aap hamisha hi jhoote sabit ho jate hain. So you should never speak, lie to if anyone. And you should never make fun of others. So children, let's complete the story now. A hungry fox dashed search of food. Answer is, romps in search of food. Dash sees a bunch of grapes. He sees the bunch of grapes. Dash were very high. But they are very high. He jumped to get dash. He jumped to get there but became very tired. 
he gives up his effort and goes away and calls grave sore children let's complete the second story now a hare and a tortoise were friends full stop the hare was proud of his peep make fun of the tortoise dash the tortoise challenges the hare one day the tortoise challenges the hare for a race the race begins and the crow became referee the hare stops to take rest but tortoise passes him slowly the tortoise reaches the winning post the hare wakes up but all in vain the tortoise wins the race finally so children this is the way how we have to fill the blanks in these stories that's all for today's class thank you everyone for watching this video i'll see you in my next video take care goodbye kids